Yes. Hi guys, congratulations. You thank you so much. Thank oh, I you. love your name. Oh, thank you. I love the pink. Oh, I love oh, thank good. you so I much. love the all black because black is my thank favorite you. color you know from I mean? New York. Yeah. Black on black on black. Black on black on black. black. <laughs> congratulations. We're, we're now part of the DC family. Uh, this story and these characters have been a while for been around for a while. So what is it like, and Sarah, I'll start with you, uh, what is it like to now see them on screen, especially like your character, bringing them to life? Right, right, right. Well, I mean, you know, I I've ne I was never really a comic book fan when I was growing up. I never really saw, you know, Wonder Woman or Supergirl or Batgirl or whatever. It's like I could never see myself in any of those girls. You know, I'm Middle Eastern, I had a unibrow. It just didn't, I just like, I'm never going to be that. So um, I just hope for me it's just a real opportunity to be able to present you know, like a, 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 a tough brown Middle Eastern female character on screen that other people will be able to see, little girls will be able to see, maybe see themselves in there. And um, it's a real honor. It's an honor to play Adriana, you know, especially everything that's happening in Iran right now, yeah. and I'm Persian. So I feel a real sense of responsibility to uh, stand up for my heritage and and be proud of who I represent in this way. Yeah, I love that. I also had a unibrow growing up, so I understand. <laughs> it's really tough on the industry. It's hard on us. It's hard on us. It's hard on us. Hard on us. I was hairier than everybody. <laughs> but that's why representation is really important. <laughs> you were. <laughs> and Mo, for yes. you, um, like Sarah said, she wasn't a huge comic book fan. Mm -hmm. Were you a comic book fan or a fan of the story? And do you think that fans need to tap into the comic book before actually tuning into the film? Yeah, no, I grew up with comic books and... and trading cards and it was just we used to go off in Houston off of Bel Air and Cook Road there was a comic book store that we frequented and I would buy different comic books that I was just attached to and um, you know and it was just something very special I never knew about Black Adam I mean it's it's not a popular yeah right. uh, which is mind-blowing really once you start reading about it and yeah. figuring out like how dope it is like yeah. how is this the first time ever and I think that's right. the genius of of uh, of Dwayne and the whole team to bring this to life in such a passion project for them over the last ten years and bringing the JSA, which is the original, like that's that's wild to me. I can't believe that that it hasn't been done before and is a true testament to the visionary, you know, mm -hmm. to put it together and for Warner Brothers to partner up with Dwayne and the team and and Flint Pictures to pr bring this together. It's very very exciting. Yeah, and I'm pumped. The fact that we are part of this original out the gate and, and yeah. the fact that it takes place in a fictionalized Middle East and Kandak and what that stands for for us and where we come from. You know, the most important takeaway aside from inclusion and, and, and having diversity, which is uh, a reflection of the world today, mm -hmm. is making great stories. And this is, a, right. this is a great story that is timely and timeless. Uh, and it's not just for us, uh, it's for us but for everyone. Yeah. And that's, to me, what it's all about. I love that. I love that. Uh, Sarah, for you, I, as I was watching the film last night, I was saying not all heroes wear capes. So you have superheroes fighting for their cause. You have Black Adam fighting for his cause. Mm -hmm. But I feel like for you two, you were your own superhero. At least that's for right. me, fighting for your people, wanting to be liberating, and them having a voice. So speak a little bit about that yes. if you can. Like, what is it like? Because to me, I was like, that, yeah. those are my heroes right here. These yes. two. Well, well, that's the thing, right? You know, it's like uh, you would think that the superheroes were sort of the glossier, you know, characters and stuff. But at the end of the day, I'm like you in a sense that, you know, what I would want is what I could relate to, which would be the real people. You know, we represent the citizens. We are the people on the ground, the common people, the workers that are fighting for change. You know, and the weapons that we have, it's what you're looking at. It's their bodies, some collie sticks. Mm -hmm. Maybe you got a broom, yeah. you got a van. <laughs> um, and, and that's it. And so it's really, you have, we have, our hearts, you know, it's like we yeah. have the hearts of the warriors, and um, yeah, it's. Just, I think it's much more sort of. It's scarier. It's impressive to see someone really put We're not themselves. immortal. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. We're not, We're not immortal. immortal. <laughs> throwing ourselves in the middle of everything. But I mean, the thing is, I didn't want to go. She dragged me. Into I it. dragged him into it. I, he just wanted to sit on the couch, eat grapes, <laughs> watch westerns. You know, that's right, that's olives. Right. Um, <laughs> yeah. And uh, and yeah. and yeah, but we're the we're the part, in my opinion, that we represent the the audience. Hopefully, they will see themselves in us. I definitely did. Thank you guys so much. Congratulations. Thank you so much. The movie was awesome. It was badass, and I can't wait for the fans to Thank see you. it. Thank you Thank so much. You.